Monday night, a 911 call led Algona police to this house in the 400 block of South Harlan Street where they found three bodies. Police also stressed the public was not in danger. How confident are you that there's no danger to the public as a result of what happened Monday? We are very confident that uh, this is an isolated incident. Algona's interim police chief, Bo Miller's words, may have given at least one neighbor who asked we not show her face a sense that she and her family have not lost that feeling of small town safety. I got this little girl, so I'm just, you know, wondering if you know, we're going to be all safe over here. That same neighbor says it is hard to accept the deaths of three people just feet from where she lives. This is a quiet, quiet neighborhood. Don't typically hear this kind of stuff going on. The last homicide in Algona was back in 2011. Algona police are waiting for the notification of family members before releasing the details of what happened inside this home and the names, sex and ages of the victims. Even with that information, some may not be satisfied with the answers. Just got to shake your head and say, you know, why, why does this happen? What, what causes this kind of thing? Because it's just unexplainable to me. Jeff Christensen has lived in the neighborhood almost three decades. He says what happened was a tragedy that will not be forgotten anytime soon. In Algona, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.